we're just about to hear from our latest signing. It is Eric Sviachenko, the Danish internationalist, has joined and well, he's not going to be in the squad this afternoon. He is going to get a very warm welcome as he comes out. Spoke very, very well when he was unveiled to the press and uh, spoke to Martin DL for Celtic TV, number 28. So a warm reception for our latest acquisition and we're just going to hear a couple of words from Eric Sviachenko and makes his paradise bow, certainly looking forward to playing in the hoops. He's wearing the hoops this afternoon, so uh, we look forward to seeing him. So we shall hand over to John Ledwith on the pitch to hear from Eric Sviachenko. Welcome to Celtic Park. What are your first impressions of Glasgow and of this fantastic stadium? It is, uh, it's a winning club and uh, we have to keep winning because uh, this is a huge club and I want to be a part of it. And I know you come here with a, a reputation as being a, an uncompromising centre half at times. Are you looking forward to getting out on the pitch and starting your Celtic career in earnest? I can't wait to, uh, to get playing and uh, to show my skills. Hopefully we'll win today and uh, get some good days. And for the rest of the season, any personal targets? To be a regular starter. Well, we hope that's going to be the case and we hope there's some medals to go with it, Eric. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Eric Sviachenko. So a few words there from our latest signing, Eric Sviachenko, and I'm sure it'll not be too long. You know, it's, we've seen it in the past, Tom, where players have come from Scandinavia in the January transfer window. They're already in the middle of a winter shutdown, so yeah. the manager said it's maybe <coughs> going to take a couple of weeks for him just to get back up to speed. Well, well it's that, uh, as you say, it's because it's his uh, break that uh, he has to do a pre-season. I don't know what stage he was at or where he would be at that, that uh, at time. Obviously, coming in here, they will take that two or three weeks. He needs to get that under his belt needs to get that level of fitness because we don't want him to be injured in any way uh, you know maybe showing him putting him in a little bit early into you know game with the pace is probably not quite right for him so yeah it will be that two three weeks before he is uh, probably a, a, you know a, a contender to be at start in the starting lineup but he certainly looks a very tall imposing figure very uncompromising and 